Say good morning to everyone. Say good morning to everyone. Oh, you had such a good night. Her, I've been up since about 2.30 with her. I mean, she's been asleep with next to me on the couch. She has found some toys and has enjoyed playing with them. You, are you ready to see these a little bit? Can we also talk about her little white beard? And you just want love. That's it. That's all you want. Mabel. Everything is so new to her, she can't, like, decide what she wants to do. Like, does she want to lay down? Steven and Bubba's are upstairs, so she, like, wanted to go upstairs for a little bit. She, like, just can't make decisions. There's definitely, like, a little bit of an ear infection. We've already started taking care of it because we have some medicine for an ear infection. Um, and she's already doing better today than she was yesterday. She's eating a lot. I just think... A, she's underweight, and I don't think she was fed properly. We also have her on Farmer's Dog. You're beautiful. All right, I'm going to try to get a little bit of a nap in on the couch, and hopefully she chills out for a bit. <laughs> I feel like I'm like that new parent who's like, this is gonna be all the vlog footage for right now. Right? Is this gonna be all the footage for right now? Look at her. Alright, I'll see you in a little bit. Out of sheer tiredness, I ordered breakfast this morning. I got Steven some freshy, fresh baked bagels. And I got myself a breakfast sandwich with egg whites, a little bit of cheddar cheese, and turkey sausage. So I'm gonna have half of this and save the other half. Probably, oh, this might be too hot. And they're still fresh, this was fogging up. Um, I'm gonna eat about half of this. Oh, someone woke back up. She ate all of her breakfast. <laughs> She's like a fawn. Like, she has to grow into her legs. Do you have to go outside? Oh, she smells. Do you have to go outside? Oh my god, I love her. All right, I'm gonna eat. Friends, it is about 11.30. Um, Steven came down at like eight, and I went up and got some sleep. Uh, and he's been with the dogs. She's doing so well. She had a little bit of an accident. We, um, Steven said no. She stopped and finished outside. So like, we could not be more proud of her. Like, she is doing such a good job. Um, I don't know, there's something about a rescue dog that just feels so different. This really wasn't in our plan. We had talked about it, but Steven stumbled upon her on a rescue site and she was nearby. And the fact that she looks so similar to Bubby is just such a gift. And I don't know if you guys know this, but black dogs and cats tend to be the least adopted and most commonly euthanized in shelters. Um, so 
they have like a warm spot in our heart. We knew the next dog would have to be a black rescue dog. We just didn't realize it would be a standard poodle. Also, she's going to get big because for five months, which they do know she is exactly five months, they don't know the exact date yet, but she should be anywhere between 15 and 16 inches tall and she's about 18 and a half and her paws are enormous and she's like trying to grow into her legs and paws. So she is going to fill out and be pretty large, but we love her so much. So I got some sleep, Steven ran out because we do want to get a crate for her. She isn't messing with anything in the house, but we want to make sure she's trained really well. Right now, I have two sleepy oodles a sleepy poodle and a sleepy labradoodle over here. <laughs> oh my goodness. She reads so dark on the camera, but when you get up close to her, she actually has like a little bit of chocolate brown mixed in with her and then this e adorable white beard. I can't handle it. I wanted to show you this is for an upcoming video. Super excited. But I wanted to show you these shirts that I found on Etsy. I thought they were so fun. I got some um, muscle tanks for like working out here at home and I love this one that was pride. And then I also got <laughs> this one that's iced coffee. I love like the tarot card. And then I found this t-shirt. I'm gonna link her shop below. This one is wine, and it just says the wine. But I like the play on the tarot cards and thought it was really funny. I am super excited about them. The material is also super, super nice. So Steven went to buy the crate. The dogs are hanging with me. They're doing such a good job. And yeah. It's a mellow Sunday, but we had a really good night last night. All right, I'm representing my Lizzo shirt today. I just finished working out. Steven and Bubba's took a nap upstairs. Mabel was so well behaved. I'm gonna go get cleaned up, and then we're gonna make dinner in a little bit. We are making dinner, and tonight I'm doing a black bean street tacos. Simplest recipe ever, so I just have some black beans going in my pan gonna add some taco seasoning. The taco seasoning I use is this taco fajita senorita from Williams Sonoma. So I'm just going to add some of that, maybe like a tablespoon or two of water and just let these cook. These have been going for a couple minutes. They're thickening up. I just added the seasoning and some water. I will sometimes go through and just mash up a couple of them to help thicken it up. We have some little corn tortillas I'm going to heat up over the stove, and then just some Monterey Jack cheese, shredded, some slaw mix, and then some guacamole, and then a mango lime salsa. I will say, if you're making this recipe, a sweeter salsa is the way you wanna go to like balance it all out. So a pineapple salsa, a mango salsa, really work well with this. We just prefer mango. This is awesome to reheat and take in containers for lunch to, or to top on top a salad. Just like an easy dinner and it comes together in minutes so you can have like a very healthy meal in a matter of seconds. While my beans are finishing off, I'm just doing some, oh, I'm just doing some corn tortillas on the stove. Outside. Always do your tortillas on the stove. It makes such a difference in flavor. So just getting these heated up, getting a little bit of a char on them. So I'll make a bunch of them and then we're gonna eat dinner. But <laughs> Steven is taking the family outside. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't be happier. All right, I'm gonna wrap up dinner and then I'll catch up with you guys to close this out. Also, how cute is this? Our neighborhood kids were selling lemonade and of course, Steven and I love to support small businesses and young entrepreneurs. So they delivered lemonade to us, just so cute. All right, tortillas are going. Hold on, please. 
that. Um, <gasps> she did. She poop outside. I checked it. There's no warnings. Did Daddy praise her? Yes, of course. I did. Good girl. We are also making sure we give him just as much love and attention. He has not at all been neglected. In fact, he's the one who slept in bed last night and got all the love and cuddles. All right, friends, I'm going to wrap up this vlog, but I actually think I'm gonna keep it going. Um, maybe not every day. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know I wanna film more, and this has been like the perfect week to get back into the groove. I am so happy that you guys are excited about Mabel. Um, we are too, and I'll see you soon. So in the meantime, take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.